an exciting blueprint for Wolverhampton, which aims to revitalise the city centre, has been unveiled. A new urban park, high-end shops, family-friendly leisure facilities, new offices and some 1,300 homes feature in the vision, which was pitched to business leaders at a launch event at Molyneux Stadium. With the council making the improvement of the centre of Wolverhampton a top priority, the prospectus sets out a vision of a 21st century city. Among the highlights is the redevelopment of the west side area between the city centre and the new Sainsbury's supermarket which is planned at Raglan Street. Wide-ranging proposals for this area include the creation of an urban park, a large hotel and new offices. The indoor and outdoor markets would be relocated to new purpose designed facilities alongside the park. Elsewhere in the city, hundreds of new homes are proposed for the canal side quarter, while there will be a major expansion of retail and leisure in the south side area. The council has pledged to invest £25 million in improvements to the public realm, including the creation of a new pedestrian circuit around the central shopping areas and improving the route between the proposed Sainsbury's and Tesco stores. It is also envisaged that the city's new interchange development will be further strengthened, creating a commercial hub at that end of the city. There are also plans to extend the Midland Metro down towards the railway station and make improvements to the car park, which is currently an eyesore. The prospectus is uh, displaying the range of opportunities that are available to existing businesses, potential investors and developers who want to come to Wolverhampton to expand on the offer we've already got and make it even better and a better experience for families and our communities in the future. But as well as public sector involvement, the support of the private sector will be crucial in making the vision a reality and business leaders and property developers were among those lending their support to the prospectus as it was unveiled. Well I think it's absolutely essential that you get public and private sector w working together on these things. It is the best way to make sure things actually happen. I think that came through in the plans we saw this morning. This couldn't have happened 18 months ago because I think it would have been treated with a, a, a large dose of scepticism and cynicism. The fact that over the last 12 or 18 months we've actually experienced the behaviours that come along with this um, gives us a lot of confidence in, to believe that what's being talked about this morning will actually happen. It's worthwhile investing in. You won't deliver it exactly as it's seen in the printed document today but it, it sets an aspiration, it sets guidance, it set, sets goals and that's great, that, that gives businesses like ourselves confidence. The launch of the prospectus is the culmination of 18 months of discussions involving the City Council, property developers, agents, landowners and major businesses. But now the real work starts in encouraging organisations to come to Wolverhampton, the first stage of which will be the publication of a detailed development brief for the West Side area this autumn. To find out more about the City Centre Prospectus, please visit the following website.